and welcome back to my playthrough of Starforce Adventures. I'm one half of Stephen Phil. In the last episode, we placed the final spellstone, hoping to bring Dinosaur Planet back together again. And unfortunately, it hasn't. So we're going to head to Thorntail Hollow to see where to go next. However, when I say to go next, this is going to be the bonus episode. Now, I know it sounds a bit weird that bonus episodes should be during playthroughs. However, with things about to come up, um, it's better to get it done now. So, we are now going to get the last cheat token, because I believe there's eight, and we've got all the one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Okay, I don't know where the last one is. Actually, I think I do. I think I know where both of them are. Um, so, we've got all the ones that are during our journey. So, the only two I think is the ones in the Fontel shop and the one on Ice Mountain right near the start. So, we're going to go and get them, but first of all, we've got to get to Fontel Hollow. Because we're going to get explained what we, well, it's going to be explained to us what we need to do next technically. Uh, but like I said, we are going to deal with the, the kind of secret stuff beforehand. Uh, this is going to be a relatively short episode, but, you know, so be it. it. It's just to show, you know, the little extras you get in this game. Which will be, you know, which are quite entertaining uh, to a certain degree. Well, not really. Eh. One of them's alright. Uh, in certain ways, there's a kind of like little Easter eggs in it. The other one is a kind of hit and miss, but it'd be quite, it's quite funny because I know what I'm going to do. Uh, so what I'll do is I'm going to meet you back at Thorntail Hollow, where we're going to start all this stuff, basically. Uh, all these little uh, secrets. So I shall see you there. Fox. Something is not right. The walled city has not yet returned to the planet. My husband is still stuck up there. You did return all of the spell stones. Of course, but wait. The spirits, they must have something to do with it. You're right. Without all the spirits, the magic cannot be channeled back into the planet. Your boss said to return to the walled city. There must be a shrine we've yet to find. Ah. <sighs> Okay, there's a few things wrong with that quote, then. Uh, one, how did they not know about the Crozoa Spirits being part of the uh, structure of Dinosaur Planet? Two, Peppy is not our boss, so what the hell? Uh, and three, uh, Tricky uh, said something, I can't remember, oh yeah, he said about, you know, there must be one more to find when he already said in the last episode that he could have told us that beforehand. I don't understand that. Uh, <laughs> it's a bit of an odd one. But anyway, so, with those little weird things out of the way, we need to collect ourselves some 40 scarabs, which is going to be the fun part. Uh, you may have got, if you've been playing this a lot, you may have got these along the way, in terms of, you know, getting the cheat tokens already. Uh, I haven't, so now I feel like an idiot. But, I mean, the Ice Mountain one, yeah, okay, I accept that one. Uh, but, you know, come here. Oh my god, that one's fast, wow. I need it. Uh, no, we've got enough. Okay. Uh, so what we need to do as well is also buy the high death display, which we've already got. So it doesn't matter if you haven't got it. That'll be ideal to get now. But we haven't got a problem with that now at all. So what I'm going to do is grab this cheat token, grab the ice mountain uh, cheat token. I believe it's this one. If I'm, if it's not this one, I'm going to be confused, and I won't know which one it is. There we go. It's the last. Go over it. Yeah, give me a cheat token, please. Yeah, lovely. Okay, uh, I'm going to grab the Ice Mountain one and I'll meet you back in Thorntail Hollow once I've got it. Because you can use the warp stone, get to Ice Mountain, and then come back through the same warp path. We'll also get the two fuel cells up there as well uh, by the jet ski. Do you remember when we had to, well, when Prince Tricky got chased off near the start of the game? Uh, there are two fuel cells in that cubby hole, so I'm going to grab them as well. Though, although I don't think we need them at all now, uh, it's always just good just to grab them. So, I will meet you back around this area in a couple of minutes. Well, a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds. So, I'll see you in a minute.
Right, and we're back. Uh, so I've got the last two cheat tokens. One was obviously the Thorntail store, and the other one was the one at Ice Mountain. So before we do the, the maze where the cheat tokens are used, uh, we're going to do this Tricky's Ball, which I said I was going to show later. So what we've got to do is get him to chase it and pick it up and give it back to us. Now this does take a little while, but don't fall down the hole. I just realised what I did there. Yeah, after a while, something will happen. And what I'm going to try and do is actually keep as close as I can to him whilst I do this, because it can take a while. Yeah, grab the ball. Good tricky. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so after a few times, I'm hoping it appears soon. Come on. Come on. No, no, no. Stop. Get, you know, just... Oh. Right. I'm going to speed this up a little bit because I don't know how long this is going to take. Uh, so I'll, <laughs> I'll see you in a second again. This is going to be a lot of cutting in this one. Yeah, with Tricky's ball, you can change his colour. <laughs> look how ridiculous you look now. Oh dear. Yeah, st <laughs> yeah I'm going to keep him in that colour. Uh, so yeah, that will now permanently change, stay, unless you want to change the colour again with Tricky's ball. I know there's blue, I don't know what other colours there are. I you know it's just going to take too much time to worry about it. So yeah, we now have Tricky in pink, so we can keep him as that now. So we could have done that a long time ago, but it's a nice little touch. Um, not much use, obviously, but, you know, it's just a little funny thing you can do. So now the last thing we've got to do in this episode is go to the maze. Now, I'm bound to get lost in this because, unfortunately, the, there is no map for this. So uh, I'm kind of hoping I've got, I've got a vague idea how to do it. Right, so uh, over there where those four torches are is where the end exit is. Well, where the well is we need to go to. So I'm going to follow it back around. So you've got to go around the outside. As soon as you get around to that outside part, it's relatively easy. It's the last one. Yeah. Set the third, third for one before the end. Okay. So as soon as you get to that bit, it's relatively easy to get to then. <sighs> So what we're going to do is now find our way there, which I think is this general direction. I think it's this. Yeah, there we go. Ah, oh, straight away. Okay, this maze is easy. So we've got these cheat tokens. Now, I'll be honest, they don't do much. Have I gone wrong here? No. Maybe. No, I don't think so. I think I'm there. Yeah, there we go. Right, they don't really do much. There's no, you know, unlike uh, other rare games, i.e. Golden Eye, you don't get big heads and stuff like that. But you do get nice little Easter eggs and stuff. So let's start with the first one, shall we? And see what is shown. Cheat activated. Now, one of them is... Actually, I'll go for those cheats in a second because I don't know which ones are which. Uh, I'll let you know in a second. So... The world looks into your future. Now, these are where the nice little Easter eggs come in. So, let's see what this one says. You are meant to be together. It was your destiny. Together as one, you will bring peace. So, who are they talking about with Fox? I can We can have a guess. Uh, unless you play Star Force Command, then, you know, if things... Well, it, well, I won't spoil that. You can you can play that game. It, you kind of don't get spoiled or do get spoiled. It's a long thing, story. So, then we throw the third cheat token in. And we got uh, a cheat activated, so again, I'll channel them in, in a minute. And this one says, the world looks into your future. Fox, I can see you have matured into a strong leader. I am always there with you. Never give up. Trust your instincts, my son. What? Uh, yeah, that's obviously a reference to James McLeod. Uh, <laughs> okay. Is he alive? Is he dead? No one really knows, as always. Um, but, you know, there we go. It's always a mystery. So let's see what this one is. The world looks into your future. A friend who has left still cares about you. 
the bond of your friendship still remains. He will soon appear before you. Now, that is an obvious reference, possibly. I would, again, if you haven't played the Star Fox games, you might not know. But if you have, you can all have a guess, really, of who that will be. And if you've played this game, then you'll definitely know. And you should accept him with all your heart. There you go. So this one should be another cheat activated. Yeah. Oh, no, it works into your future. His life force is strong. His existence is like a virus. I'm going to hear his breath in every corner of space. He will not only use the evil heart of others, but can also corrupt those that are good. Now, what's that talking about? Again, I won't spoil, because that's not me. Uh, again, you may have a guess. Possibly. I'm not going to say any more, because that's technically what's coming up, possibly. But he corrupts others who are already corrupted, or he you know, get, uses others. You shall see. So, this one should be a yeah, cheat. And I think the last one is a cheat as well. Hopefully. Oh, no, the world looks into your future. There is sorrow ahead. A close friend does not have much time left. It will be hard to accept, but you will grow. Now, this isn't really explained, to be honest. Um, um, well, I suppose it is. I don't know. I can't remember from Star Fox Command. It's, it's one of those where you have to play the DS game Star Fox Command to have an idea. And I'm not sure on this one. I'm not entirely sure. Again, you can have a guess who it is. Again, I'm not going to spoil it. I don't know if it happens in Star Force Command or not. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm, post me, put something up and see if it is in Star Force Command or, or not. Thanks. Right. So that is basically the episode. Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry, the cheats. I forgot about that. The cheats... Activated right now in the option screen at the at the start of the game. I'm going to save and go out to it now, I'm not going to go through all of them because they're a pain. Well, there's only four but one of them Don't want to do so What you can do is go to Peppy out here Once we get to him Right there is a GFX mode, which graphics mode, so you can make it black and white. Not sure why you would or not. The next one is you can display the credits again. I'm not going to uh, show that one, uh, obviously, because it'll take too long. Uh, there is one for. Uh, let's see. Uh, one is for the yeah. One's for the credits. One is for the sound test, and one is for subtitles. Uh, so I'm sure. Uh, Cutscenes, restore defaults, no. Yeah, play tune, so sound test. So, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Get all these. Lovely. Uh, and the other one, yeah, is whatever it was, uh, blah, 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 blah. subtitles, which I don't know where they are. I'm sure they're somewhere. Uh, subtitles on. Yeah, there you go. So that's basically what they are. So that's been this episode. A bit of a weird one, and it's been probably a bit of cutting here and there, and it's probably quite short. I don't know from because of all the recording I've done so far. But in the next episode, we are now going to head towards uh, the walled city and find that final Krozoa spirit that we were meant to do to start. Obviously we're tricky now being pink. <laughs> so until then I will see you next time.